Welcome back to the next example on Laplace transformation. On Laplace transformation. If this is your first video on Laplace transformation, do well to check the previous video where we did where we did the transformation when f of t is equal to what a. All right. Next up, I'm having that f of t is equal to exponential negative a t. F of t is equal to exponential negative a t. Have it in mind that same steps, nothing is changing, nothing is changing. You know, we've defined it, we've said generally, you want to transform a function, say f of t, this is the process, this is the integral formula. When you are done with this integral formula, when you are done with your integration, you obtain what f of x, you obtain f of x. Now, the idea is that initially, if I'm having a function combined with t, in this case, I'm having exponential negative a t. By the time I perform Laplace transform, it means that t is going to be changing. And what variable is it changing to? It is changing to x. So this is the interpretation. You are saying to get, to change or to transform f of t to f of x. This is the formula for your integration. This integration must be done, right? Uh, it's not necessarily for you to cram it. It's something that you just need to know. With um, constant practice, you are going to be familiar with this integration formula. Right? Now, in this case, I'm having my f of t as exponential negative a t. It becomes, my Laplace transform becomes integral from 0 to infinity. Right? Ask yourself, what is f of t? f of t is given as what? exponential negative 80 so substitute exponential negative 80 multiply by exponential negative st dt now in this case i said it previously that you must be a master of your integration meaning we are using integration here basically what we are using is what integration we are using what integration now from here, I want to integrate this very guy. The first thing that should come to your mind is to um, introduce indices, right? You know, by indices, a raised to the power of m multiplied by a raised to the power of n is equals to a raised to the power of m plus n. Therefore, I'm having exponential negative a t multiplied by exponential negative s t. Implementing the idea of indices, it becomes what? Exponential negative a t plus all into brackets negative s t. All right, let's simplify this. I then have exponential negative a t minus s t. What is common? I'm having s. I'm having t, right? t is common in this case, factorized. I have that exponential negative exponential negative all right let me say this let me say this now in this case observe observe very important initially when we generalize the formula for laplace we said this is my formula observe the power of this exponential s is coming before t right s is coming before t that is um, any possible way or try to express this whereby your s comes before what t I get what I'm saying, or S come first. So by that, I'm doing, okay, with that being said, from here, I have negative all into bracket, all into bracket, X minus A, then you have your T. X minus A, T. Meaning by the time you open up this, by the time you distribute this very bracket, you still have what you have here. You know, in some cases, you might have written this as exponential negative all into bracket a minus s then multiply by what then multiply by c right but always consider that of uh, order meaning your s should should come first s should come first if you write this this is correct this is also correct but since we've generalized Laplace transform as this, saying I have exponential negative st, then go with this. Go with this. All right. Moving on. Moving on. It means that integral 0 to infinity 
substitute this right i have exponential negative all into brackets s plus a c d t all right now from here let's integrate how do we integrate we are still using the same idea of integration that says that if i have exponential kx my integration becomes what exponential ks over k all right now from here meaning integrate this very guy it becomes what exponential negative all into bracket s plus a multiplied by t all divided by negative all into bracket s plus a then don't forget you are performing definite integral you are what performing definite integral by definite integral introduce your lower and upper limit by doing so i have from zero to infinity i have from zero to infinity now up to this level let's simplify you simplifying you will notice that one over negative all into bracket s plus a is a constant s factorize factorize right by directly factorize, you then have 1 over negative all into bracket s plus a all into bracket exponential negative x plus 8c 0 to infinity. 0 to infinity. You know, the whole idea of Laplace is that the whole idea of Laplace is that you are changing the function t. You know, the whole idea of Laplace is that you are changing a function f of t to f of x. Meaning that up to this level, you want to substitute your lower and upper limit. It means that your upper limit is taking, it is representing t, or you are substituting it as t, and you are also substituting your lower limit. You are also substituting your lower limit as t right and don't forget earlier we said exponential raised to the power of infinity is what zero exponential raised to the power of zero is what one meaning i have one over negative all into bracket s plus a open your big brackets then exponential negative x plus a multiplied by infinity subtracting exponential negative all into bracket s plus a multiply by zero then close your bracket all right now from here it becomes what one over negative x plus a multiply by exponential infinity minus exponential zero Therefore, I have 1 over negative all into bracket s plus a. Open your big bracket. This gives you what? 0 minus 1. It becomes 1 over x plus a multiplying negative 1, which is equal to what? 1 over s plus a. s plus a. Now, observe. Initially, which initially f of t was given as what? exponential negative 80 now by the time you've transformed exponential negative 80 you end up got to what 1 over s plus a meaning that in this case given question i'm having a function of t present but now i'm having a function of f of x present that is f of x that is f of x is equals to 1 over x plus a now back to your table given this particular function say f of t equals to exponential negative 80 f of x becomes what 1 over 1 over x plus a 1 over x plus a 1 over x plus a the next function is what cos 80 the next function is cos 80 but before looking at that before looking at the transformation of cos 80 and sin 80 let's take few examples on this particular question example one example one example one find the laplace transform of f of t where f of t is equals to exponential negative 40 that is therefore mean i'm finding the laplace transform of exponential negative 
40. Now, following your table, we said when we, when we said given a function exponential negative 80, this becomes the Laplace transform. Now, during comparison, your answer to this, meaning that f of x is equal to what? 1 over s plus 4. 1 over s plus 4. 1 over x plus 4. Right? What if I have example 2, find the Laplace transform of exponential exponential negative 80. Right? Question says that find the Laplace transform of exponential negative 80. All you just need to do is to compare the given function to your standard um, table for Laplace and we are still under the exponential form. So by Meaning, in this case, this is my f of t. This is my f of t. By your transformation, you know, instead of we going through the process of integration, substituting exponential negative 8t into this formula, we've, we've already find a, um, the transform. We've generalized the transform as this. Therefore, for this very question, which is the f of t as exponential negative 8t, my f of x becomes what? My f of x is equal to 1 over x plus 8. But observe, when I'm having exponential negative 80, I'm having x plus 4. Exponential negative 80, I'm having x plus 4. What if I'm having exponential 80? It becomes what? x minus 8. So let's take this last example. Find the Laplace transform of exponential four of exponential five t. Your answer to this becomes what? Meaning f of x is equals to one over x minus five. One over x minus five. Now, all right. So this is how Laplace transform work. So we've done for a, a constant and we've done for an exponential function. Now let's say you are given that, you are given this, say 1 over x minus 7, 1 over x minus 7, and you are told that this is under Laplace transform. Meaning what you can observe or what you can say is that 1 over x minus 7 is a, a, a function that has been transformed is a function that has been transformed, right? So the question on us is that, what is this function that has been transformed? Based on what we've done so far, meaning this function becomes what? Exponential, exponential 70. So that is, this is your f of t, and this is your what? f of s. You know, in the previous example that we looked at, you'll be given a function f of t, then you transform it to what? f of x. But in this case, you are given a function f of x. The question now says that what has been transformed? What did we transform that we got this? So this is the answer. So what that means is that you need to know the transformation of each function. Then you are good to go. You know, that reminds me of what I said earlier. I said it's just like what differentiation and what integration. You know, given a, a trigonometric function, say sine theta, the derivative becomes what cos theta. You're under differentiation. You're under differentiation, right? Let's say integration. Given a, given a function cos theta, the integral becomes what? Negative sine theta. So it works vice versa. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that by the time we know this function, we must know the word transformation as well. All right, let's take other transformation. When f of t is equals to cos a theta, and when f of t is equals to sine a theta. 